My name is Andrew Cohen, and I am the chair of the Council's Committee on Mental Health, Developmental Disabilities, Alcoholism, Substance Abuse, and Disability Services. Thank you for attending today's vote on Introduction 1236A and Intro 1424A, sponsored by Councilmember Borelli and myself. Both bills are crucial to ensuring that we are doing everything in our power to provide appropriate, effective, and timely services to our citizens with autism and other mental illnesses. The first bill, uh, intro 1236A, would require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to report on the number of individuals receiving services provided by or administered by DOHMH for autism spectrum disorder. This report would allow the council to track ASD services in different neighborhoods and ensure that services are available citywide. It would also be available online and accessible to the public. Thank you, Council Member Borelli, for sponsoring this bill. The second bill, intro 1424A, sponsored by me, would require the Department of Education to report on the total number of students with individualized education plans, or IEPs, broken down by each disability classification, as an example, students with autism. This information is to be disaggregated by district, eligibility for free lunch and reduced price lunch programs, race and ethnicity, gender, English language learner status, recommended language of instruction, and grade level. The goal of obtaining this information is that it will be helpful when it comes to identifying trends across New York City's various communities, and if necessary, address inequities in diagnosis, services, and resources, resource distribution. Uh, I want to acknowledge that we've been joined by Council Members Vallone, uh, Gradenchik, Borelli, and what? All right, and myself, I guess. Uh, lastly, I want to thank the committee for their uh, committee staff for their work in preparation of this hearing. Nicole Bean, our legislative counsel, leaving us uh, for the sanitation committee. Uh, really. Uh, Sylvester, we want to welcome Sylvester Ivana, our new legislative counsel, Michael Benjamin, our policy analyst, Jeanette Merrill, our finance analyst, and Kate Theobald, my legislative counsel. Uh, I'm now oh, I'm going to ask uh, Council Member Rarelli to say a few words. Uh, thank you, Chairman Cohen, uh, and thank you for making 1236 uh, part of this package dealing with autism reporting. Uh, the, the goal of this bill is to obviously track and report it report both direct services and indirect services that uh, our constituents are receiving, whether they're paid by the city or directly serviced by the city. Our goal long term is to advocate for more early intervention services for children who need them. And this is essentially step one in giving us quantifiable data to supplement the almost anecdotal uh, evidence that we've heard from so many service providers that the rates of autism continue to rise. So I want to thank uh, you, Chairman Cohen, as well as uh, my colleagues, uh, Council Member Verone and, Gr and Gradenchik, who are here today, and Matteo is somewhere around, uh, as well as the uh, 32 total sponsors who join me on this bill. Thanks again. Uh, I want to acknowledge that we've been joined by Council Member Crowley, uh, and I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. Committee Clerk Matthew DiStefano, Committee on Mental Health, Developmental Disabilities, Substance Abuse, Alcoholism, and Disability Services. Roll call vote on intro 1236A and intro 1424A. Chair Cohen. Uh, I vote aye on all. Crowley. I vote aye. Ballone. Aye on all. Grudenchik. Aye on all. Borelli. Aye on all. I vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. The items have been adopted. Uh, I'm going to ask the clerk to keep the roll open, I guess, unless we uh, know the council member. I'm going to ask the clerk to keep the roll open for 15 minutes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> 